What's the biggest mm. kind of what's the biggest horror story or whatever that you've seen? Like maybe a uh, a property you inspected it was just like you know. Well, it's a tough. That's a that's a good one. We see some really interesting stuff. We do about eight thousand inspections a year, so we see the good, the bad, and the ugly. There's there's no question. Mm-hmm. For for me, it's either it's either termite damage. Um, we've seen some really really bad termite damage. It's really surprising um, how how often we find termites most of the time they're not really affecting the building structure they're just chewing out a a bit of timber that's in contact with the ground or an old stump they're doing what termites do and yeah it a lot of time it's okay but sometimes the sneaky little buggers will crawl up behind a downpipe and like chew out half the roof and yeah we've we've had to carefully back out of some roof voids because you know, we've stood on a, on a ceiling joist and it's crumbled under your foot sort of thing. And it's like, well, we've got a pr- proper infestation here. So we've seen that. Um, subsidence is a really interesting one as well. Um, it's, subsidence is, you know, it predominantly, you, you know, you'll see some, ho- some minor horizontal cracking or some major horizontal cracking at around chest height or sort of head height around the outside of the property. And they'll, be replicated um, on the inside of the property, and what what that is, it's a it's a telltale sign of a much larger issue. And quite often, there'll be some um, undermining of the footing. The foundation material will get washed away. There'll be a uh, um, a downpipe or a soak well in close proximity to that part of the building that um, has eroded. And a, a lot of t- a lot of the time, these things will go undetected until the house gets put on the market. Um, but yeah, subsidence is a is a, a inexpensive fix. It's and what, getting easier now. Yeah. And what happens in these kind of scenarios where, like, you know, someone's selling a house and they might not realise that it's stuffed, basically, right? Yeah. Well, the the good thing is the the clients that we've we've come across, and I I don't know, uh, which is a function of who who the the nice people we deal with, but we we, we find that. Most of the time, buyers just want to do the right thing. You know, mm. they they they're, they're unaware of this issue, and when they when they when we uncover an issue like this, um, they're like, "Oh my God, we didn't even know." Like, what can we do to to fix it, life? You know, can you can you assist? Is there anything, um, anyone you can recommend? So we we can we can we don't get directly involved in the fixes ourselves because we think that's a bit of a conflict of interest. So, Oh, you know, we found a problem, and by the way, we can come and fix it for you. Yeah, um, so yeah, we we try and stay away from that. Well, we do stay away from that. Um, but yeah, we 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 find buyers do want to do the right thing most of the time. Mm. Yes, and and where where they um, sellers are un- the sellers, sorry, or buyers yeah. as well. But yes, the sellers uh, do want to do the right thing most of the time. And and look, that's that's the mechanism in the contract. You know, where where they where they can't or they're unable to um, rectify the issue, that's where the buyer's got the right to terminate the contract. 